Brian, I've heard you describe the last week as emotional being back involved with the Ireland squad. Yeah, um, it has been um, a bit of a surprise um, coming from where I was that I ended up being around and about the, the national team and travelling with them on the bus to the games. Uh, it's just a pity that we didn't get a we, we didn't get the results we wanted and the results the staff prepared the team for. And um, but it's been very enjoyable to be involved. But it was a surprise. I can tell you that. What have you managed to bring to the squad in, in terms of experience? I saw you chatting to a number of the players on the bench tonight. What kind of things have you been saying to them? Well, I think you'd have to ask them them that. Uh, I think it's mostly little bits of information, bits of encouragement more than anything. Um, you know, my involvement has been minimal, minimal enough, I think, overall, over the few days. I've, I've talked with the staff and suggested some some uh, tactical stuff at times and I've been involved in discussions around around the tactics and around the selection again when asked opinions but not putting them forward too strongly unless I was asked with the players individually it was, it was about maybe little uh, bits of information that might have helped them in the game and given them words of encouragement if I felt that they needed that you know obviously you have a, Evan Ferguson needed a little bit after missing the, the penalty in the first game and the opportunity he had with the header in the second half as well. So that type of thing, but um, it, it wasn't. I had no massive involvement by any means. I just said to John there, in the space of just over a week, he seems to have managed to build up a real bond between the staff and the players. Yes, I think that was very much the case. Um, he has uh, John has a, a lovely personality about him. He was very calm all week, but he was very diligent in the walk and very clear on how he wanted the team to play from the from the off, from the initial conversations I had with him. Um, there was a clarity in his mind about the system and the shape. And it didn't take him too long to decide on the team for the first game. Obviously, the second game is a bit more difficult, two games coming together so quickly. But yes, the staff were a very happy, um, a very happy group. I think the players were also, I think they enjoyed the training, they enjoyed the, the tactical work that was done, and they enjoyed you know, the bit of fun around the place that there was in the training and uh, away from training pitch in the hotel too. And having been around John for the week now, could you see him as the next permanent Ireland manager? Well, look at all the indications that were given to me um, when I was approached initially was that there's, uh, they have, that the FAI have somebody in mind and that there's somebody organised and that that's going to happen um, sometime after these two games. So I presume that's still the case. John has, has gone about his business very well in a very short space of time. An awful lot of work to do in terms of um, pulling a staff together, then deciding on the players, selecting the squad, uh, coming in. We really only had three days of preparations before the first game, three actual training days. So there was an awful lot of work to be done. So in, in that, he managed to do to achieve an awful lot, I think. Um, but. You know, he's definitely definitely managing material. He's been building up a lot of experience at different clubs. He's out with the different managers he's worked with, and he said himself that he wants to get into management. But I, I I don't know what the exact position is, but I understand that the FAI have somebody else lined up. And unless I hear otherwise, that's what I'm taking as a situation. I'm sure John will have a part to play in future setups, whether the next man whether it's with the next manager or other managers or with some of the other underage teams, I don't know specifically, but I would think he has done himself no harm over these two games in the way he's worked and gone about his business. And for yourself, now that you've been back involved, we got a taste for it again, or, or should we keep your seat for you in studio? Um, I, I, I think, uh, Maria, I might be back with you uh, soon enough in, in the studio, and Tommy and all the great people I've worked with in Virgin. I think that's the way I was asked to help out for two games, and those two, two games are over tonight. I, I think is, is is my last involvement, and uh, I don't, I, I haven't heard anything to suggest that that's not going to be the case. But I've been absolutely delighted to be involved. It's been a, a fabulous experience. It's been a learning experience for me, as much as I've maybe helped out a little bit. I've also learned a lot, and it'll help me in in the other work in the future if I'm back in Virgin Media shortly, which I'll be quite happy to do. We'll be quite happy to have you back. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Andre.